All right, guys, let's open WhatsApp. Here we have two images that were sent to us. As you can see, they are set to be viewed only once. What we're going to do is disable this feature so the images are automatically saved. We already have the exploit and all the necessary files injected directly into our phone. When we open it, we get this message. We see the first image, close it, then the second image and close that too. Obviously we can't open them again. But if I go to my gallery, in this case I'll open the Android gallery, the files don't appear here because they weren't saved. The magic happens when I go to the file manager. I click on files, navigate to the Android folder, then open the media folder. Inside, I find the WhatsApp saver folder, which you can see here. When I click on it, look what happens. Here are the two files that were only meant for one-time viewing. Now I can open them directly with the gallery. We have both files here. As you can see, the first thing we need to do is open our browser and type in the following website, goapp.me. You can search for it this way. Once on the website, click on the link and it will take you to the page we'll use to inject the necessary files for this process. On the page, click where it says search and look for WhatsApp. You'll see two files or applications. The one we need is called WhatsApp Once Viewer. Click on it and this screen will appear. It will start injecting this script directly into WhatsApp. Click on start and the injection process will begin. As you can see, it's downloading the necessary files and everything we need to enable saving images and videos set to view only once. This process might take some time, so be patient. Once it's almost done, it will ask if you're a robot. You'll need to verify that you're not by completing a simple check. The site might ask you to install an app. It's crucial to read the instructions for each app. For example, one app asks to be installed and run for 30 seconds, while another may require installing two apps within it. Choose one. In my case, I'll go with the first one, click install, and the installation process will begin. The instructions said to run the app for only 30 seconds. Once that's done, we'll have everything set up. From here, we can save all the files, images, and videos that were previously restricted to one-time viewing. And that's it. You've successfully bypassed the one-time view restriction in WhatsApp. Now you can save those files permanently and access them anytime. Before we wrap up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks like this one. Hit the like button if you found this helpful and leave a comment with your thoughts or questions. See you in the next video.